Hey there, it's Linda in Belize. You may have seen my immigration video when I went to Belmopan. Now, a lot of people have been asking for an update. I've been a little busy because right after that, I went into San Pedro for the Belize Investment Summit, which was fantastic. And then I've been back in Placencia because I had a friend that was visiting just until yesterday. So, was I able to pay for my permanent residency? The answer is yes. It was fantastic. I had an appointment. Right away I went in, and you don't need an appointment to do this, but I had booked one hoping it would help maybe. And when I went in, they immediately said, oh, you're here to pay. When I went into the building, they, I said, yep. They took my passport, uh, my folder with my documents, brought it. I sat and waited for, you know, just maybe 20 minutes or so until I was called up to the counter. And the lady looked through my passport. She made sure that I had all the stamps up to date, took photocopies of the pages, that I didn't have in my application because obviously that was done a long time ago and from there she gave me a payment voucher to go pay at the cashier some things to note about it I was able to pay on credit card although I had cash just in case for some reason the credit card machine was down and I certainly wouldn't have wanted to go back to do it again and the fee for your permanent residency if you're Canadian like I am or any other Commonwealth country it's 3,000 Belize if you're a any other country like the US, it's 4,000 Belize. The great thing about this process is I now have a payment receipt, which they indicated means I do not have to any longer go stamp every month while I'm in Belize. So yes, you can go pay your permanent residency in Belize. Make sure you bring with you your surety bond certificate. And if you don't know what that is, basically it is where you get a Belizean, natural born Belizean to sign and you have to get it notarized, which they don't charge for in Belize. And I can give you a recommendation of where I went to do that. And you have to bring a $1.50 Belize postage stamp with that as well. So I had all that ready because, of course, I was prepared to do all this in January. But finally, it's done. Now, I had a friend that did pay in January. One thing to note, they still don't have cards ready. So if you're looking to come pick up your card, wait on that. I'll be continually doing trips to Belmapan and post updates here on when cards are actually being printed. See you soon in Belize.